Jason, tell me about your school um, and your incredible students and uh, how important the arts are to your school. Um, I'm at South Plantation High School. It is a public high school in Broward County, Florida. We have a deaf and hard of hearing program that is part of the school. We're the only high school in Broward County, which is the sixth largest district in the United States, to actually have a specialized program specifically for deaf and hard of hearing. Yep. Um, and we've been producing theater for the deaf 18 of the 19 years that I've been there. Um, and that's an extremely important part of our program. Um, we believe in inclusivity regardless of whether, regardless of what makes somebody exceptional. So we've had kids that have come through the program that have been legally blind, deaf, that live on the spectrum. Um, they, so yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a great program. Have you noticed uh, the arts having a kind of a profound effect to change these people's lives? I mean, oh. what, what, what is the change that you've seen firsthand? I, I think that as an educator, the, the most useful thing about being involved in arts education is that there's an ownership that is second to none. Um, you know, when you have your high school kids that go to their math class and they fail their math class, the only person that's really being impacted by that is them. Right. Um, but when you're involved in theater arts especially, regardless of the role that somebody is playing, everybody is depending on them. And so there's an, an, authentic, an authenticity that is like nothing else. And that in and of itself is extremely powerful in motivating kids, which is, I think, the greatest challenge for any educator yeah. is to motivate them. Uh, and and what what have you have you seen about any of the shows this season that you loved? Well, I was um, honored to see Sweeney Todd yesterday. Carnegie Mellon brought us in, and, yes. and, and we were sat, in, sat at Sweeney Todd, and it was absolutely amazing. And Josh is a Carnegie yes, alum, of he's course. he's a Carnegie alum, and yeah. so yeah, that was a fabulous show. And you get a very special Tony Award because yes. it's an apple. Correct. Uh, uh, does it, this one sp spin? It no, does, does not, not spin, spin but which look, is we, safer. We can, we can, Oh, it can that, yeah. turn. It can it, turn. It can turn like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So where does this award go? Um, well, I think that this is going to go on a mantle in our living room yeah. and at our house in Florida. Fantastic. I have yeah. to say, as someone, as a student who uh, benefited greatly, my life was changed. Uh, I was a student in public schools, yes. uh, and my life was changed uh, for the better. Uh, discovering the arts, arts in public schools are super important. Any, 100%. any last word you want to say about uh, making sure that we fund the arts in public schools and, and all of that good stuff? Give your, give us your, your why. Yeah, absolutely. Um, arts and education is alive in our private schools, but I do believe that it is really uh, a challenge to keep them alive in our public schools. Um, test scores are not what it's all about. Um, in fact, getting kids involved in arts education, specifically theater education, is how we're going to drive those test scores up because of everything I said earlier about the accountability. Right. I mean, come on, reading? Oh, I know. I know first. It starts with reading. It really does. It yes. re well, congratulations. Uh, truly, this is uh, exceptional. Thank really you very exceptional. much. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for being here.